So hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is your weekend wisdom reading. Please remember if you are liking these videos, do give me that thumbs up and click on that subscribe button because it really does help this channel to grow and get these messages where they need to go. So let's jump in to this weekend. What can we expect? Well, as always, I am going to tell you to relax, enjoy yourself, connect with those that you love, spend some time in nature, just enjoy yourself. It's time to chill. You've had a busy week. Now chill, ready to refresh yourself, replenish yourself, ready for the week ahead. So let's see what the cards have. What do the angels have for us today? Angels, guides, keepers of the light, please guide me. What messages above all messages do we need to see for the weekend ahead? Please make the messages clear and concise. What is in your highest good for all of us to receive for the weekend ahead? Let's have a look, shall we? Which one message above all messages? There we go. Inner child healing. Okay, what a perfect time to do this. Um, as I was saying about going out and enjoying yourself, connecting with those that you love. If you have children, if you have grandchildren, if you have if you have nieces, nephews, take them out and have some fun. And while you're at it, make sure that you are joining in with their games. Play a game of hide and seek with them. Play a game of um, tag. Go down the slide. Have a swing on the swings. Really nurture that inner child. A lot of us are dealing with hurt inner child issues. Chill, um, issues from childhood which have left us feeling um, not the best, not the way we should be feeling. This is about you really nurturing that inner child as though it is a child that you care for yourself. Now, the inner child is part of you. So you love yourself. You should love your inner child. Um, we all have, um, I'm just being drawn to temper tantrums, okay? Children have temper tantrums and it could be that you have grown up not being able to have these temper tantrums, okay? So if part of that is um, going out into the woods, do it somewhere where no one's going to see you, but basically um, go out and just stamp your feet and scream and shout and just let this anger out because I'm feeling that some of you out there that are feeling quite angry about things from the past, um, about when you was a child, you couldn't express these things because um, there was a chance of things not going a nice way if you had have behaved in that way. And I'm feeling that for some of you, you just need to get out and you need to release the anger. Let it go because it is eating away at you at this time. Um, that's not for all of you. But um, if you feel inclined to just go out and have a scream in the forest, in the woods, um, away from anyone. We don't want anyone reporting, thinking that there's something going on untowards in the woods or etc. Um but just take this time to get that anger out because I'm very much feeling that it's blocking you and it's not letting you letting it out. I'm going to read from the book as well. Um, it's just about being gentle with yourself as well um, and knowing that you are worthy of love, knowing that um, if you didn't get the love that you needed as a child, that you don't need to have that love. You can now nurture your inner child. You can now love that inner child and um, call it little. Um, so for me, it could be little Lou. Um, assign a name to your inner child um it could be like a nickname that you had when you was a child i know i was called pudding <laughs> okay so come on pudding you're fine you're fine give yourself a hug um just nurture yourself take care of yourself know that you are deserving of that love even if you didn't get it as a child it's time for you to now retrain your child um and give the child that love that you should have had as a child yourself so the inner child is the part of your psyche that represents your childhood. Everyone, no matter who they are, has had traumatic childhood experiences that may be impacting their life today. And you have endured so much in your life. You are a real survivor. Drawing this card indicates that no matter what has happened, you have found a way forward. You may feel that you have had to grow up quickly and abandon your innocence in order to survive. But know that when you reflect, review and release anything from your childhood that could be holding you back, the next phase of your life will be supported. This isn't about forgetting. 
but about taking the time to send loving energy to your inner child and to assure them that they do make it through and make and become the incredible per sorry and become the incredible person you are today this card brings radical healing understanding and love to your inner child it shows that your guardian angel is wrapping their loving arms around you right now nurturing your inner child and encouraging you to unleash your childlike senses see the world through the eyes of a child there is so much wonder and opportunity out there it's time for some fun what can you do to feel light what can you do to express yourself have you stopped yourself from doing something because you feel you're too old for it now it's time to reclaim your innocence and express yourself in a way that is filled with excitement wonder and adventure it's time for your inner child to be healed okay so it's a lovely perfect perfect weekend message even if it involves sitting on the sofa curled up in a duvet watching um disney plus it's part of my inner child healing it's what i do every single friday night with my little girl um I grew up very much in a household where my dad had control of the TV. There was no remote. There was no remote in my days, um, literally. But it was a case of, oh, yes, we would be told to go and turn the TV over for him. And we would stand there sometimes five minutes flicking through the channels for him, even though there was only four, five channels. I'm showing my age now. But... I never experienced a lot of the the Disney stuff, um, a lot of um, the childhood films, etc. So now I am indulging my inner child by taking a Friday night. Friday night is always pizza night, ice cream night and Disney Plus. And we sit on the sofa, snuggled up in duvets if it's cold, um, just chilling, relaxing. Because that is part of my inner child healing, because that is part of the childhood that I miss. I never had that as a child and my inner child needs it. So do what works for you. Um, get out, enjoy yourself, go for a run, have a play Um be like a child again. Um, I'm also being drawn to crafty ideas. Um, get some pots of paints, do some finger painting. Do whatever it is. You don't even need a child to do um, craft things. Sit at your kitchen table and just plod your fingers in paint. Get some Play-Doh out. Just have fun. Enjoy it, okay? Um, your inner child is so important and it needs the love that sometimes you didn't get as a child. It needs the experiences that you have gone without during your childhood. Know that you have come through this. You are strong and your inner child just needs to know that everything is good that they are safe they are protected and yeah they can express themselves in a way um that previously they've not been allowed to okay so that is your message i hope it's resonating go and have some fun just enjoy yourselves um i'm, I'm getting quite emotional now um very much about just loving yourself being gentle with yourself and being gentle with that child that is still there within us all Okay, so take care, have a lovely weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.